<clears throat> yeah, good morning. Welcome back to the tavern. Okay, well, I started to do some things yesterday. I did a brief run through, and then it started pissing rain. I mean, literally, unzip the clouds. I'm going to see if I can grab a quick view of these clouds up here and see what we got. Alright, so I'm going to go over a few things here this morning before we get started. I've got a load of dirt coming in this morning. Let's see if we can remember to film that load of dirt as it's being dumped, just because it'd be cool. I'm going to get started on a bunch of different things on here. Let's give a, another run through on what we're going to do and how I accomplished, or accomplished nothing yesterday, except maybe I had a good fire because the rain stopped <coughs> <coughs> later in the day. And, yep, that's the COVID. Oh no, oh no, quick, quick time to, time to run for the hills. Yeah, that's sarcasm, folks. It's called a cough from, uh, beats the fuck out of me. No, I know what it is. It's mostly from my vape. You know, everyone knows I vape. Sometimes the vape just doesn't, uh, work very well. Really kind of irritating. So, at any rate, let's take a look, see, uh, what we've got through the yard, and, uh, see how we're doing okay let's go see what we got all right let's start usual right here in the front and because we've got the sun rising we're facing due west we got a nice little sun flare bloom in here this is everything from the corner. Really hard to see. We'll get another view of it later. Oh, I've got my worm box here. I brought that from my apartment balcony. That's been on my balcony for the last two years. And it uh, works very well. If you live in an apartment and you want to do some composting, worm boxes are a thing. They work very, very well. We'll see how that goes later. Okay, so I did manage to figure out where I'm going to stick the olive tree it's going to go right here that's the olive tree there and the other beds I got some planting to do got some cleanup to do this thing out here yeah we need a sunshade right there straight ahead and there we go put my hat on that Okay, that there is going to get the uh, attacked here first thing this morning. We're going to attack that pile of branches. Let's go from the opposite side here. We've got to fill two beds after the dirt gets here. So we'll do some cleaning while that happens. How's everything looking in the growing bins? The ones that are growing? we got a lot coming up here. I forgot what I planted in the middle there. Squash, that's what it is. Squash is going on the ends. Okay, tomatoes in the pot there doing good. The parsley is growing back nicely. Never have to buy parsley again, ever. Once you get parsley growing, shit's hard to kill. Pineapple sage, that is really good sage to put into your uh, spaghetti sauces. Doesn't really taste like pineapple, but it does have a good flavor. Cabbages. Wow, look at that cabbage right there. That cabbage is doing really well, along with the broccoli. We got some tomatoes that are slowly starting to come up here in the center. Did some weeding last night. I did go through the garden and pluck all the grass and weeds out of the garden, all the garden beds. Got to get some dirt dumped into the potatoes, especially this potato bin. This one's going crazy. We're going to have lots and lots of potatoes. Snap peas. I think I planted the corn too early because I don't have any corn coming up yet. 
and the corn was supposed to provide the poles for the beans, but uh, I got the timing wrong. I'll remember that for next year. See, so that's the thing about gardening. You think you know how to do things, and I do. I mean, it's not like I've not been gardening for most of my life off and on, but I've never had a dedicated like this. And while you know how to do it, it takes time to learn the timing for everything. Now, these are the strawberries the deer ate a couple of weeks ago. I think they did us a favor, because one of the things I noticed has happened massively with these strawberries is looky here, got runners. All the plants that were chewed on have sent out runners. Maybe it's like, oh my god, something's wrong here. We're being destroyed. Quick, send out some baby plants. So I'm going to double and triple the amount of strawberries I have here. I'm excited about that. Onions and garlic doing really, really well. I've kind of forgotten which end is onions, which end is garlic. Oh no, there I, I labeled it. Onions at that end, garlic's at this end. All right. Radishes, lettuce, miscellaneous, they're all doing really good. Got a potato that volunteered itself on the end. I think that's a potato. It doesn't quite look like a potato. Might be some flowers. I did sprinkle some flower seeds in the corners of the beds, and that's what I see popping up in the corners of the beds. So, anyway, that's it. We had a fire last night. Got a nice, big, hot, roaring fire. It was rather nice when it cleared up. I got to sit out here for a good couple hours. That video footage, though, man, eh, that may or may not appear. Depends on what I like when I was talking. Some of it's just nice, calm, staring at the fire. All right, so that's it. It's time for us to get in there. And I may or may not have been recording that. Okay, off we go.
And God made the streams He filled them with fishes Then He filled man's head with dreams God made the mountains And God made the seas And God made a woman Who would do just what she pleased God made a woman Naked and free He said do what you want to do but just don't touch my tree, tree, tree Well, he didn't listen, she paid him no mind She picked her some fruit, ate it down with the rind, rind, rind It always tastes better when the fruit is forbidden The grass is always greener than where you've been sitting Pain and forgiveness, guilt and regret When you're messing with God God, that's what you get God made the forest and God made the plains Filled him with critters, then he filled man's head with pain. God made the birdies, and God made the bees, and God made a woman who would do just what she pleased. God made a woman free as a bird, he said, Do what you want to do, but just keep your word, word. Word. Well, he didn't listen, she paid her no mind She picked her some fruit, ate it down with a rind, rind, rind It always tastes better when the fruit is forbidden The grass is always greener than where you've been sitting Paying forgiveness, guilt and regret when you're messing with Guitar in hand, it's me and the band About to make this place come alive Hands in the air, we're all right here Bass kicking it with the drums Step on in, where y'all been? We're about to have some fun Crowd screaming, come on, let's go So I said 
say let's get on with the show Everybody say yee-haw, that's what I'm talking about Hey you, you up there with the black stitching on Raise your glass to a good time, you came to honky-tonk If you're country to the bone Come on in, make yourself at home Exotic 
ginseng roots Brings on the sex and the passions New loves are boiling With some heavy romancing Good witches brew Stirring and chanting Their hexes and spells Prayers and poems Are casting Pills, some in liquids to fix their aches and deals Pitiful angels watching down and around us From the wonderful skies in the blue heavens above us Leading us to the mineral springs and fancy hell spots Using tanning and toning machines that make our bodies look great Everybody's looking for that fountain of youth Some in lotion, some in pills Some in liquids to fix their aches and deals Fountain of youth, fountain of youth Everybody's looking for that fountain of youth Some in lotion, some in pills Some in liquids to fix their aches and deals If Jesus takes me far away If he gives me a halo If Jesus calls for me today I got bad news for the angels I am not the man they might think I Drunk just because I can. I get loud and I act crazy. Most women call me lazy. I'm not the kind that they would understand. Ladies say I'm the king of one night stands. They get mad when I kiss and tell. No, I do not lie. Cuddle up or make romance Most times I just like to be by myself If Jesus takes me far away If he gives me a halo If Jesus calls for me today Myself, with spirits on that top shelf, and I don't care what anybody thinks. I probably am a selfish guy, and I don't care why you cry. You better not let my new shirt get wet. No, I do not want your number. Don't want to meet so much. Why can't we just hang out with no? Takes me far away. So far away If he gives me a halo If Jesus calls for me today I got bad news for the angels Some bad, bad news for the angels
fountain of youth Everybody's looking for that fountain of youth Some in lotion, some in pills Some in liquids to fix their aches and deals Potions and remedies Passed down from the ages To better our lives And future generations From certain plants To some sweet tasting fruits Moonshine stills Fermenting and cooking high up in the hills Fountain of youth, fountain of youth Everybody's looking for that fountain of youth Some in lotion, some in pills Some in liquids to fix their aches and deals Exotic ginseng roots Brings on the sex and the past New loves are boiling With some heavy romance Good witches brew Stirring and chanting Their hexes and spells Prayers and poems Are casting Fountain of youth Fountain of youth Everybody's looking for the fountain of youth some in pills, some in liquids to fix their aches and deals Pitiful angels watching down and around us From the wonderful skies in the blue heavens above us Leading us to the mineral springs and fancy hell spots Using tanning and toning machines to make our bodies Look great from near and afar Fountain of youth, fountain of youth Everybody's looking for that fountain of youth Some in lotion, some in pills Some in liquids to fix their aches and deals Some in liquids to fix their aches and deals Open that 
soaking wet and I definitely don't want to end up soaking wet simply due to the fact that you get too wet you could end up sick and I don't want that so we'll give you a brief tour we actually accomplished uh, I actually accomplished quite a bit yesterday yeah we mean being mean the mouse in my pocket that, that keeps me busy 
but uh, we accompli I accomplished quite a bit uh, yesterday. Got a couple trees planted. Got that entire pile of uh, sticks all shredded. Got some dirt moved. I don't think I'm going to be able to get planting in today, but uh, it's only today that it's supposed to be uh, piss and rain. So let's see how this goes for us. So let's give a nice little tour around. Uh, first, I got to bag up my uh, camera because my camera does not like getting wet, as it showed me on that first day. I thought I'd gotten it wet before, but not like that. So we put a bag on this puppy, and uh, we'll see how this works out for us and show you what's happening up at the yard. Let's go for a little look-see. Keep the camera dry. Start in the back corner and give it a full sweep. What we got. Okay, let's go wander down here. See what we got. There's my nice pile of uh, mulch created from, as you can see, that big pile of sticks and twigs and everything from the uh, trees that were cut down has been shredded. Got some nice video footage of that. That's a pretty decent pile for a start of mulch. Got this area pretty cleaned up. Keep the bag off there. Keep the bag off the lens. There we go. Give myself a waterproof camera. I think I'm going to have to invest in a real camera. Take the abuse. There we go. It's all dug out, planted a pear tree, the apple tree, all planted, done up. Got some more wood here for wood piles for stuff to be cut up and burned. Got these two beds partially filled. A lot of what I'll get done today will be simply moving things about. Plant growth is good. Not a whole lot we can do with it. I 
haven't got to that yet. This weekend may not get me as much as I'd hoped compared to what I'd gotten done the last couple times I was up here. It's what happens when it rains though. It eats into your time. I need to get my raincoat on. I can work in that. I just can't work real fast. So that's what's happening up at the yard. I'll set this thing under the umbrella and maybe catch myself doing a few things. All right, so that's all we got here for the at the yard at the moment. Let's uh, set this up and let her roll. Light your low on this stage, there's a feeling here tonight. Guitar in hand, it's me and the band about to make this place come alive. Hands in the air, we're all right here, bass kicking it with the drums. Step on in, where y'all been? We're about to have some fun. Crowd screaming, come on, let's go. So I say, let's get on with the show. T-shirt on, this one goes out to you. Can you holler if y'all came to party? Shout it out, cause you're here in my house. Lead man, bend them strings, make them cry out with the sound. Everybody say yee-haw, that's what I'm talking about. Hey you, you up there with the black stitching on Raise your glass to a good time, you came to honky tonk If you're country to the bone Come on in, make yourself at home Play it loud, stomp it down, get a little rowdy with the crowd This one goes out the girl in the front row Bang your head, sing this song Baby in the back with my t-shirt on This one goes out to you Can you holler if y'all came to party Shout it out, cause you're here in my
morning. Welcome back to the tavern. All right, after a day and a half of pure rain, we've got a very nice morning. Overcast, but no rain. And uh, at least for the next few hours, I should be able to get some work done. It's the uh, Sunday of my weekend and my last day here for a week. So let's take a look around and see what the stuff that has been accomplished uh, through the rain and miscellaneous that I managed to get done. Let's take a look at the yard and see what the yard has for us today. So let's put things around. Okay, so we'll start back in back corner as usual. Well, we've got the new tree planted right here, the uh, pear tree, and you see we've got a few holes filled up, some of the other miscellaneous stuff slowly coming together. Just got a lot of work to do in this one corner over here, though. Okay, let's see what we got. Yeah, first off, that's the uh, pear tree planted in the corner here. All looking pretty. I'm starting to fill in that hole with all the extra miscellaneous dirt because this is where the greenhouse is going to be eventually. Filling in this one. Filled in this one here. Managed to plant the olive tree. A bush. It's actually an olive bush, not a tree. So we'll see how big a bush it gets. Planted a bay tree next to the toilet. It's looking pretty good. We got the nice pile of uh, of mulch from all the branches that used to be right there. That area is looking pretty good now. Little by little, we found the new permanent home for the uh, for the black composting bin. This is the one that's pretty cool. You fill it up with stuff, you keep spinning it every every few days or so, and then uh, it takes about two or three weeks and it comes out pure dirt, basically. It's really a nice composter. You should try one of those. Compost bins, now looking more accessible. I got a fair bit of work there to clean those up started leveling this area here we've come up with a plan for this and you'll see that plan as it unfolds because so we can get this area back here leveled so we got to get this back corner here all of this leveled up and because that's where we're gonna chop off those tree tree trunks there we've got a couple of really nice pieces of old marble kicking around here we're going to drill some holes and turn them into marble tables Eventually, when those trees get up, it'll be a nice shaded area for kicking back. I'm going to finish filling this and this. This is the new home for my worm bin. And we'll see how well it uh, performs in and around here. Got a fair bit of cleaning up here to do. Picked up a couple of new plants yesterday since it was so raining. I went off and to the... Uh, garden centers to see what was available. Also needed some more composted uh, um, manure. I'm going to put a nice new pepper plant in there. A little bit of growth here and there. Everything's growing really nice. Raspberries are starting to put out some stuff. Potatoes got filled up with dirt. Now we'll grow some more, and we'll fill them with more dirt. Now we'll grow some more, we'll fill them with more dirt. Strawberries, we're going to pin down the runners. So the deer might have done me a favor and caused the strawberry plants to send out runners earlier than usual. So, garlic's doing well. We got some flowers on the uh, apple tree. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? They're almost done. It's interesting. First we had cherry blossoms, then we had the peach or the plum blossoms, now we have the apple blossoms. It's quite interesting. The things you learn when you start paying attention to your 
to your garden and everything. We're going to have radishes real soon. Done some weeding. So, on the whole, this is looking pretty damn good. I'm just glad I got a nice morning where I can get some things accomplished that I need to get accomplished. Alright, and this one here, this box here is a uh, pretty hot box. From the time the sun gets up till about hmm, 4 o'clock in the afternoon, surprisingly. Sun almost all day on this box, so I'm going to plant some stuff in there. Alright, that's everything we've got. Let's uh, kick it at the tavern and get some things going. So. Light your low on this stage, there's a feeling here tonight. Guitar in hand, it's me and the band, about to make this place come alive. Hands in the air, we're all right here, bass kicking it with the drums. Step on in, where y'all been, we're about to have some fun. Crowd screaming, come on, let's go. So I say, let's get on with the show. T-shirt on, this one goes out to you. Can you holler if y'all came to party? Shout it out, cause you're here in my house. The lead man, bend them strings, make them cry out with the sound. Everybody say yee-haw, that's what I'm talking about. Hey you, you up there with the black stitching on Raise your glass to a good time, you came to honky tonk If you're country to the bone Come on in, make yourself at home Play it loud, stomp it down, get a little rowdy with the crowd This one goes out the girl in the front row Bang your head, sing this song Baby in the back with my t-shirt on This one goes out to you Can you holler if y'all came to party Shout it out, cause you're here in my to the tavern. This is a wrap up. See the, what I accomplished uh, over the last couple days even though it was pissing rain for a day and a half of it. And uh, just take a look around and see it all. All the cleanups pretty much done now. So let's go back to the back corner here and do a yard sweep and see what we got. There we go. Well, 
got the plum trees in the way now, so I got to change my position just a little bit. There we go. There's a nice yard sweep of it all. All the bits and pieces. It's coming together pretty decently. A little happier this time. Finished moving five yards of dirt this morning. That was quite the uh, chore. So let's see what we got here. Okay. There's the uh, peach, or not peach, pear, pear tree. Pear tree, hummingbird feeders. That one's almost finished done. I gotta level that for the greenhouse. That path part leveled. I improved the look of that one a bit. Slowly getting mulch spread out. Got some new mulch coming this next week. Five yards of mulch. I'll start producing the paths through here. Everything's growing really quite nicely. The bay tree looks really good and happy in its home. Echinacea is doing well. Planted a whole nother bed of onions, red and sweet onions, a little bit of both. We'll see those coming up in another week or two. The pile of mulch is down a little. This is all cleared. That's where I moved the five yards of dirt to. This pad, this area here is going to be kind of like a patio as it goes up. We're going to end up taking this dirt to fill other stuff, leveling the dirt in here to go with these uh, four by fours, which will be framing it. And then we might actually grow a patch of grass in there someplace cool. Be the only grass back here. Everything else will be paths. Worm bin. All the worms are happy. I checked on them today. Stick bin. Where we pile all the sticks and stuff. Composter. Still got to plant this bed here. And that bed way back there. Still got to get planted. Actually, I think I still got another bed. I got three beds left to plant. I got to figure out what to put in them. Next week, I will definitely be planting. It's supposed to be a nice sunny weekend, so I should get some things done. All the rocks I found while digging things up this weekend. <laughs> Couple new pepper plants. One there and there. See how they come out. Got myself some uh, some thyme growing in there now. Added another tomato plant back there, an heirloom tomato plant. This bed's got to get planted. I'm going to grow some jasmine. I'm going to put a trellis up on here for the jasmine to grow on. That'll make it look pretty. Got myself a pretty nightlight for the garden. Little by little, making a little beautification. Planted a whole bunch of dill in that pot there. Still got to do that. Fire pit, looking good. Um, for lack of a better thing, I needed to get the yams planted. I had some yams I needed to plant, so they're planted in that pot there. Might not get nearly as much yam, but uh, we'll get something. Strawberries, pinned them down. Replanted some corn, because I think I planted it too early and it died. Rotted on the vine. And there we go, one big pile of dirt gone. That was uh, quite the chore. Good workout this morning, though. But I actually created a path. <laughs> I moved so much dirt. Of course, it didn't hurt that the ground was just soaking wet, and this is like a clay soil. So now we've got our first path started here. This will be the first path through the yard. Maybe next weekend I'll be able to get that chore done and get all that wood piled over there. Start moving, getting things over here. Wood piled up. Well, on the whole, I'm pretty happy with the way it's turning out. It's looking really, really good. Every week a little bit more gets accomplished. All the garden beds. Almost like I got the fin shui going here. A little bit of blockiness, a little bit of curviness to it. Yeah, I'm happy. 
Here's the next one of my big jig chores over there is cleaning out those uh, compost bins and uh, tearing it all out, but not until I get this thing level because I pull the compost out and pile it in front. Get this thing done first. I'll have to get the shredder out again because uh, once I get the compost bin cleaned out, there's a whole pile of sticks inside that compost bin. So I got to get those fetched out too. On the whole, it's looking pretty good. Cabbages are looking good. Starting to form me a cabbage. You have a broccoli and uh, cauliflower. Be up good. Beans are come up. They'll be up on the pole soon. And parsley. Once you get that stuff growing, you can't kill it. I swear. Have to see about letting it go to seed and capturing the seed. That's pretty much it, though. On the whole, really quite happy with the way it's turned out. Anyway, this has been the Rogue's Tavern. I believe it is May 16th, 17th. It's May 17th, and the Corona crisis, the pandemic, scamdemic, is finally coming to an end. I think. Well, they'll keep trying to. They'll keep working at scaring people for months. Wear your masks. Oh my God, you're gonna get you're gonna get somebody infected. The usual bullshit. All right. Well, that's all I've got for the Rogues Tavern. Make sure you uh, click the like button and the share and uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And uh, we'll catch you on the uh, next uh, next episode next uh, week sometime. That's all I got now. Take care. Bye-bye.